to Lyme Regis Museum and I want you to take your mind back to around the 1800s when elegant tea parties were at the height of fashion. In the cabinet behind me you can see some beautiful porcelain teapots and teacups from Jane Austen's time. Now during the 1800s William Buckland was a major paleontologist in this area and very popular amongst his peers. He used to hold very popular tea parties at his house, often serving all sorts of delicacies off this beautiful table. On closer reflection, the guests at the tea parties were horrified to discover that the beautiful cakes and cups of tea were being served off this surface. Now it's quite strange when you look at the surface, you're wondering what these strange nodules are. They're actually iron nodules, but inside the iron nodules are actually fish droppings. And what we're saying is that William Buckland was serving cups of tea of fossilised poo. Coprolites are one of the most fascinating fossils. That's probably because they're the most disgusting to think about. So how do they actually form? Well, this is actually an ichthyosaur coprolite. And the reason why we know this is because these glossy black pieces in the poo itself are actually spines and scales from fossilised fish. When the ichthyosaur hunts and eats different animals in swimming around in those Jurassic seas, it doesn't discriminate between what piece of the animal that it actually eats. In fact, the whole piece of the animal goes down into the gut itself. Now, when the pellet or when the faeces comes out the other end, it's made up of all of those hard body parts that can't be digested. And this is why coprolites, fossilised poo, can survive that extraordinary process of fossilisation. As coprolites go, this is probably one of my favourites from the museum. Inside you can see these black glossy bones, and what they are are actually fragments of rib bones from another ichthyosaur. So from the evidence, this is what we think might have happened that tells us the story of the origin of this coprolite. An ichthyosaur might have been swimming through the Jurassic seas one day and taken a huge chunk out of another creature, perhaps another ichthyosaur. Instead of kind of chewing it up in its mouth, it swallowed that chunk of flesh and bone as a whole fragment. That piece of bone and flesh would have travelled through its body and out the other end would have popped this beautiful kind of intact piece of ichthyosaur ribs. That's just extraordinary. Just imagine if you were eating your favourite pizza and you didn't bother to chew that slice. It just went all the way whole into your mouth and your stomach. This is exactly what that ichthyosaur did but with another piece of another ichthyosaur. So the next time you're sitting down getting ready to have a cup of tea, just be thankful that you're not drinking at a table that's been inlaid with fossilised poo.